Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to another top 5 video where today we're going to be talking about something that I really really think, it's a video that literally it had to be made, it is, and I made a video like the opposite of this a little ago, you know, it is a top 5 worst updates that we've ever seen in the game. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually had a harder time making this video than I had making the top five best updates, because I actually think, maybe even contrary to popular belief, I do think that Wizard 101 has made more good decisions than they have made bad decisions. It's just the few bad decisions that they have made, they've really, really derailed the game in a way that sometimes, some parts of the game are literally unplayable for some people, and for other people, the barrier to actually play becomes much too high. Now, I'm just throwing around a lot of words here. What do I mean by that? Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like these are the updates that made it so that fewer players could have fun playing the game and really change the course of the game in a direction where I really don't think a lot of people appreciated it. As always, guys, this is just my opinion. These kinds of videos work great when you guys tell me your opinions, too, so let me know. I mean, I'm sure it's a different it's a different update for everyone, you know? What do you think was the worst update, in your opinion, that King's Isle ever added into the game? Now, without further ado, let's get right into it with number five, my man. This is what I think is a fifth worst update that they've ever put into the game. Let's get right into it. Now, if you guys have been playing this game for more than just a few years, then you'll know that the critical system in Wizard 101 has undergone some major, major changes. And there are good things about the way critical has changed somehow, but I would I would argue that critical was a lot, lot better before. And I'll tell you guys why. Right now, critical and block are all percentages. That means that you could have insanely low block and have a 1% chance of blocking, and you could have insanely high crit and basically never actually crit. Now the problem with this current system is that it's still pretty random. You have very little control over whether you're gonna block or not or whether you're gonna crit or not because at the end of the day, it's all chance. How it used to be is that let's say someone had 460 critical rating, but someone had 461 block. Basically, the way that would work is that it would be impossible for this person, whether they crit or not, to crit on you because they basically cancel each other out. I think that that was a really, really cool way of doing it. And honestly, it would justify making crit even more useful than it already is in PvP. Back then, critical used to do twice the damage, and I think that was a little ridiculous. I think King's Isle even realized that, and that's why right now, it adds about a 33% boost to your hits. So that means that if you cast a Lore Master and you critical on your opponent, basically does 33% more damage. I would argue that literally I prefer a system where critical block and rating, like let's say you had 300 block, right? And someone had 300 crit. For that to have no chance of critting, I feel like that would be preferable even if the critical effect was higher. Now this is a really, really interesting system. There, I, I couldn't do it justice by explaining it to you, but basically the way it works, every block rating used to cancel out a critical rating, which means basically, let's say that you had 300 crit and someone had 290 block, right? That would essentially mean that they have a 10 out of 300 chance of critting on you. That's basically how it did. The critical block would basically keep on reducing the chance of that critical being effective. And I honestly thought that that was really, really cool. I do like the concept of knowing what percent each rating is. And I actually really like the concept of critical decay that they've had so that people can keep on trying harder and harder to get their critical up. However, I do think that right now, the way block and critical work, I, I don't think it's the best iteration of the, the criti critical and block in the game. I do think they should go back to critical and block, canceling each other out so that you could actually guarantee blocking by going for a lot of block and not just have a chance for all those stats to just go to waste because of, because of just random randomness, basically. Number four is probably one of the worst additions, in my opinion, that they've ever added into the game. I feel like I've been very, very vocal about it. I'm sure people expected this somewhat on the list. It's not that high up because the other three things are definitely way, way worse, in my opinion. 
but in my opinion, one of the worst things that they ever added into the game are Maycast Wands. It started off with the fortune teller stuff, and it's gotten worse and worse since. I think the problem with Maycasts, and this is why I think they're a really bad update, because one, it's just basically almost all crowns wands or bundle wands now, and basically what they do is give people an unfair advantage the more they spend on the game. Now, could I actually have, are there ways to basically fix this? Just like with the critical problem, I'm not gonna act like this is an unfixable problem, right? I think the best way to fix this is to either make a craftable or farmable alternative to all of these Maycast wands, or, in my opinion, it's a lot better just to nerf some of the May casts or make it so that they're not just game breaking. I don't think anyone believes that an unshielded extra 1000 damage is something that anyone should want in this game. It unbalances PvP a lot. They've stopped doing the whole 1000 May cast wands, but they still exist. I, I can still use this if I wanted. And these are still competitive stats. I just don't think they deserve to be in the game. I highly recommend for any developer who's working on this issue to just nerf these or at least least make them craftable or farmable that's the best way to fix this one but i definitely think that this one update had one of the most impactful breaking effects in this game and i hopefully they they look into this you know i don't want pay to win maycasts i think nobody wants those and that's definitely why this is on the list of the worst updates in wizard 101 history now we're gonna go almost rapid fire through the next three because they're actually all connected <laughs> one problem caused the next problem which caused the next problem and that is why this has to be the three these three right after you you, you could put them at any part of the list one through three but i definitely think that these three updates were the worst in my opinion the third worst update update however was definitely the introduction of jade gear now i know this is a controversial thing to call out but at the end of the day there is no gear that's better than jade gear at the moment or bundle gear that's like you know similar like the spooky carnival suit there's no there's no gear that has done more damage to this game than this set i definitely think the jade gear either should have been no pvp from the beginning or there should have been ways to control how people used it because right now high resist crowns gear is the root of all the pvp problems and most of the reason why people have an issue with the game the reason why i think this is one of the worst updates is because what it basically promoted was a bunch of people going into pvp turtling they literally just wore complete jade gear and either waited for their opponents to leave or they would basically just keep on healing and healing or juju spamming like they could back then until basically someone ran out of cards. The strategies weren't real PvP strategies, they were stalling strategies. This was the beginning of the end for balanced PvP, and it goes down to what I think is the second worst update in the game. Let's get right into it. The introduction of Shadow Magic eventually made it so that Jade Gear could no longer be used as reliably in 1v1 for turtling. And that's because, as you learn right where I am right now, you basically learn Shadow Strike. Now here's why this is one of the worst updates. Right now, Shadow Pip Chance is completely random. You'll have a different chance as the rounds go on, it's not controllable, and basically, like, even stats like Shadow Pip Bonus barely do anything, because you have a base Shadow Pip chance that's a lot higher than 7%. This is the most uncontrollable stat in the game right now, and the problem is, because of that update, you basically were given spells that still didn't punish you enough for using them. You can get to 0% backlash. I definitely think the reason this was the worst update is because it was a random pip chance that gives you the ability to completely change the tempo of the game, and the main reason for stats like 50% pierce was because of Jade Gear. It was a problem that King's Isle caused for themselves by creating a Crown's Gear set that could basically be abused in PvP. This all could have been avoided by making Jade Gear no PvP, and by creating a Shadow Strike that was not 50 pierce, but maybe, I don't know, maybe less pierce at least maybe less pierce maybe more damage or maybe maybe the same amount of pierce but a lot more backlash the best way to fix this you know just like making jade gear no pvp would have fixed that update the best way to fix this update is to punish you a lot more for using strike i think at a base minimum you should take at least at least 20 percent of your health off no matter what you do by using strike if you want to keep it this way or at least make it last fewer rounds 
You know, maybe maybe keep the effects, but make it last two rounds instead of three. Maybe reduce the effects of it. Maybe, I don't know, there, there, there's all kinds of things. Maybe create a way for this to be two Shadow Pips instead of one. There are so many ways to fix this. I don't see why this one spell hasn't just not been changed, but has actually been made better. It used to actually have a minimum of 10%. They've only made the spell better, and they've done... They, there's no reason why they should have done that. Another idea that I have is that you shouldn't be able to reduce backlash twice in the same round. Just like you shouldn't be able to increase backlash twice in the same round. That maybe that's the solution. Maybe you actually have to do three different things that strike likes in order to get no backlash. I don't think that would really fix the issue, but these are all suggestions that you could add so that this spell isn't completely broken. And... So that this spell doesn't ruin pvp for the majority of people who want a fair game i think a lot of people agree with me that the worst update in the history of wizard 101 was most certainly dark more and i hate saying that because i think dark war as a dungeon is a really really good dungeon and it did a lot for the game it brought a bunch of people back farming something that a lot of people wanted and it brought back a boss and in a way that was very creative i definitely think as far as this world goes and as far as even some of the gear goes it actually wasn't terrible what i have a bigger issue with is obviously shadow enhanced hits. They completely changed PvP, and because of the direction that this game has taken, we now have four pip, five pip, and six pip shadow enhanced spells. The reason they're a really bad update is for the same reason Shrike was a really bad idea to add into the game. You have a pip chance that is completely random, that is completely out of your control, that can literally give you the entire game. No other stat has ever changed the game so much compared to shadow pips. Some people have called for an outright ban on shadow pips in ranked PvP. Is that a great idea? Maybe. I don't know. I argue that if you really want to try doing that, introduce it as a tourney mode and see if the game is actually that blatantly negatively affected by it. Another solution that I have that I definitely think KI needs to look into, if they, let's say they don't make Shrike two Shadow Pips, right? Let's say they don't take that suggestion. When you're in Shrike, you should not be able to be, you should not be able to use Shadow Enhanced Spells. Shadow Enhanced Spells are already so, so powerful. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to use a 10 Pip spell or even a Scion, for example, instead. If you do end up banning them in PvP, make sure there's more spells like Scion. Make sure there's more strategic spells, basically like conditional spells. If you make more conditional spells that do a lot of damage, then you can actually justify them having a lot of damage. The whole point of Wiz, in my opinion, as far as card strengths go, is that there should be a justification for why the spell does so much. Right now, Shadow Enhanced Spells don't have that justification, because a Shadow Pip is actually very easy to get. You can get it first round. So if you get it first round, what did you do to earn that? You didn't do anything to earn it. I think there should be all kinds of double damage spells based on conditions. It shouldn't just be Scion spells. There should be four pip spells like that. There should be seven pip spells like that. KI has the opportunity to go in that direction and not go in the direction of Shadow Hits. And I definitely think that that would do wonders for the game and wonders for PvP. Now guys, these suggestions aren't just to complain. That's not why I make any of these videos. There's gonna be PvP updates coming to the game really, really soon there's gonna be new dungeons coming to the game really really soon they have to think about what 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 they do in terms of updating stats like critical gear like jade gear and spells like shadow spells that being said y'all your ideas are probably a lot better than mine because your numbers are a lot greater than mine so make sure you let me know do you agree with my list of updates and do you have other solutions to these or do you have other updates that you think were awful for Wiz? What are those? Let me know what you think the worst update in the history of Wizard of the World was in the comment section. I'd love to read it, my man. As always, guys, there's tons of links in the description, including my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, my Instagram, and my new merch. So go ham, go crazy, go stupid. Drop a like if you enjoyed and leave a sub if you're new, my man. I hella appreciate all the love and support. I couldn't do without you guys, man. As always, brother, if somebody hasn't told you you're awesome today, they doing something wrong. So stay awesome, brother. Let me know your opinions in the chat. And yeah, yeah.